Nothing wrong with a nice little power fade baby cut off the left side of the water. Bring <laughs> If they ever hold to do it, it's this one. All right, you know those days when you just know that you're in for a treat? Well, today is one of those days, and you can see why. Just take a look around here. We're at the golf club at Equinox, continuing our Vermont series, or Vermont mini series here. Yesterday, we were at Green Mountain National. That place was just, I'm still raving about it. But I tell you what, we may have a contender here because this place looks amazing. The mountain views here, everything. And we just got a little bit of intel from the starter. There's definitely some tricky holes out here. He said, some of these, you do not want to be on the back of the green. It is lightning fast coming down. Two tiered greens, elevation changes, nine on this side, nine on the other side of the road. This is gonna be a fantastic one. So you guys know what we do, two man scramble. We're gonna be looking to try to see if we can shoot par or better so let's head out first we've got a par four down the hill here the other thing he told us is some of these tee boxes can be a little bit tricky in the way they line you up you got to play some smart golf here so that's going to be the the theme today try to play smart golf see if we can shoot par or better let's have mike take us out all right first hole straight out to the mountain how pretty is that right yep All right, we're out there. Good position. Left side, not too bad. Good ball, nice kick middle fairway. Yeah, that thing's rolling right back towards the middle there. Beauty, man. Let's go. So we did a little trip to Vermont last year, which included a course not too far from here, just down the road. Um, Dorset. Dorset Field right. Club, that's right. So what we'll do is we'll make a little playlist Check out all these Vermont stuff. You can, we'll link to that in the video description. But one thing I will say, one thing we learned is that if you are planning a trip up here and you really want that peak foliage, these really beautiful colors that we're seeing, I mean, everywhere around us, that last week in September into the first week of October is just the time to do it. I mean, that's when we come out here. Last two years we've been heading out here for that reason. It's just perfect. By the way, I got you on the first call. You got me by a lot. You're gonna have to pick up your ball, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they got me by that a lot. It doesn't happen often that I outdrive Mike, so when I do, I make sure to point it out. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, look at this color variety. <laughs> Just down the line here. It's incredible. Come down. Ooh. It's gonna be short. Okay. Ah. We'll putt. All right, a birdie putt for the boys here. You guys know if you watch, you got a little rule on the channel. Somebody gets us here, they get first crack in an own birdie. So I'm yeah, going to go first. You got to get your moment to shine out here. Got to have your moment. You See, know what I'm going to do though, Mike? I'm leaving that pin in. Smart. Because these are quick and it's a little downhill here. Might need it to stop it. Go in. Go in. Oh! Almost had the own birdie. You there. almost had it. All right. Well, you got an own par, but. We definitely got the par. Yep, okay. Get the birdie now. One time. Get it. Oh, early celebration. The early Thought I had it. <laughs> All right, we gave it two birdie tries. Uh, We're even through the first. All right, second hole here, a little bit longer. Plays about 380. Um, there is water that comes into play on the left side, around 270, but it's a pretty generous fairway. So we're gonna hit driver again. Love the chances to hit the uh, the big stick, that's for sure. But I tell you what, you look out here, for the first week in October, everything is nice and green. Couldn't be happier with the condition that this place is in. They did ask, they said, down here, it's like Southern Vermont. They'll go to like November as far as the season goes. So you have some room to play if it's the late in the season, October, just dependent on the weather. All right, he's winding it up, yeah, getting winding ready. it up. I'm gonna show you guys a little something about driving lanes here. Any of you diehards know the reference, what video that from, put it in the comments. I'll be thoroughly impressed if you know the driving lanes reference. Here we go. They just don't cut when I swing smoother. Left side over there, short of the water. You're gonna have to do better than that. Stay out of that trap. Oh, wait, right go. It. it popped out. It hit the trap, but I think it ran out. It popped out, I see it on the top. 
Okay. All right, it's gonna be awkward, but we're in play. Nice job. So what the starter told us is on the 150 marker, there is a little wiffle ball. It's either gonna be red, white, or blue, and depending on that, it's gonna be front, back, middle, pin position, with uh, red being the front and blue being the back. So we've got a back pin position, and uh, I did get out of this, skipped out of this fairway bunker, but we're on the upslope here, which means it's gonna come out high. And I, I shot this thing at 150, so I think we're gonna see a towering eight iron here. It's a little bit of an awkward shot. It's, it's definitely gonna come out high on this upslope. All righty. Yeah, you're gonna get a real awkward stance here. Got a little pull hooky there. Stay dry. Yeah, just off the left side. So I'll you tell you one thing I quickly learned. Anything that's that far above your feet is gonna come out left. Okay, good recon right So there. obviously, it's, it's almost aiming at Zach for that shot. Okay. Much better line there. See that? Aiming right is the play. Yeah, it's the play. Nice Fall nice that work. far above your feet. Good job, man. Yep. Thanks for the recon. Happy to be the guinea pig. Yeah, thanks. Happy to be the guinea pig. Appreciate it. Not a bad run, huh? No, not a bad lag at all. All right. Took too much pace off it. Go, yeah, go, you, go. You I thought that hill bit. would take yeah. it. There it is. Good two putt. Thanks. All right, so this is the third hole here, par four. This is the one that the starter was saying. A lot of people get confused and think it's that green out there. And that's why we got the but sign right that there. It says it's on the right. So we're actually going this way. Okay. About 380. And nope. there is a tree out there that blocks the left side just a bit, but still plenty of fairway. I love the holes like this because you can get aggressive as can be here because it's wide open. So if you pull it left, you still got a shot in. If I miss it a little right, I still got a shot in. So let's get nuts. It's a, yet another driver hole, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, I went left to the other green. I feel like you talked yourself into that shot. I did. You're like, you can go left, it's totally fine, no problem. It's in good shape. <laughs> it's <a> left. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, take it over that tree. And what that's is what it I doing? wanted, right over the tree. Yeah, yeah. baby. Nice, dude. Well, let's nice go. that TSR, huh? I love this thing. <laughs> So, didn't get to warm up, just lubricating just the hips a little bit. quick jog before this next just shot. Just getting the hips warmed up. <laughs> okay. Just taking a quick lap when while you we wait. wait on the green, you stay loose. Oh, that breakfast burrito. <laughs> Good looking ball. Not okay. bad at all. A little long. Oh, a little long. You loosened up. Well, you much. got us in good spot. Yeah, gonna <laughs> loosen them up. <laughs> See how straight? Yep. It's from double breaker to straight. <laughs> Did I right about to take yours? Is it a two-man <laughs> scramble if you putt for me? <laughs> you just had to have a second look at I it? I had to try it again. <laughs> As, so. as much as I would love to have let you just putt for me I there. Know, we can't you do had that. to have it to look another look at it, huh? I had to, man. Well, what'd you do the second time? I just I aimed a little more at it instead of playing a left to right, and I just gave it a little more pace. Like that, like that, like that. No. Oh. I get, last thing I heard was pace. I gave yep. it all the pace it needed. Yeah. All right, another par, let's move on. All right, first par three here. 123 plays like 135 up the hill. Can't say for sure whether that pin's on the back, but it does look like it. We do not have our wiffle ball indicator. We do. We do, where is it? Right here. There's the wiffle ball. See, they know wow, what they're doing here. Wow, good to know that, that, oh, that pin is up then. That's an up pin. Looks like a good one. Just stayed right. straight. Not as much break, huh? Stayed straight. Just not quite giving it enough. Yeah. All right, well, listen, tap in pars on par threes, we always like. We do. Let's move on. We're heading to the fourth hole. No, fifth hole. I had a massive bathroom break. I wasn't gonna make it. Would've been bad news. That's when you know to hit a porta potty. When you know you hit a porta potty on a golf course, you know, you're in trouble. 
I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Well, this guy kind of looks like me. Bald head, beard. How's it going? We got some recon before we cut out from the starter. He said, you're gonna get to this hole. He says, everyone wants to feast on it. It's 3.07 down the hill, but you cannot see the green. He said, just don't do it. He said, because what happens is it gets super narrow. He said, your play is the 150 marker. Hit something just beyond it. Especially if it's dry enough, it'll roll all the way okay. down the hill. All right. So hold on, I'm just firing that marker. You're 150 to the 150. So I feel like if you hit something like 165, 170, that's what he was saying. It's gonna, you don't want to do it, do you? You want I, to drive the ball. I don't, don't want to do it, but I will. No, get no. it. I just flew it, and I bet if Mike puts one over these trees, left side of these trees, come back to the right, yeah, he's got it it'll point. be on the green. You know, we got you going Two first. Two-man scramble, that's why we scramble. Put one out there in the All right, middle. so I'm going to do what he told me to do. I'm going to hit a little iron over this thing, and let's see how far it rolls down, and you just get nuts. Got it. Get okay. nutty. Okay. Beauty. Look at this guy. Okay. Like the old slinger lens. That's it. That could be beautiful. It could be, or it could be a disaster. <laughs> We're gonna see. I guess anything could be. Yeah, true. <laughs> well, Mike's big gamble paid off. He found this narrow fairway. And he is uh, at least 50 yards in front of where I hit that six iron. So we're going to play it from here. <laughs> I mean, not much left on this par four. I even like where it lies. It's nice and flat. Which, which will it be? You know, he always wants to do that Texas wedge. Well, look at it. If there's ever a spot, this is it. Down the ski slope. Hit it out there. Let her just take her in. You sound confident. I also like this shot, too, because I can get it up and maybe land it down there. But it brings in a lot of chunking and a lot of nonsense. So we're going to play. Nobody likes a ground game more than this guy. Yep. Give me a ground game all day. No high sticking. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I want to see what you would say there. See, that's why I don't like that play. I just hit it's it. It's so too. hard to predict how much that grass is going to hold this it up. This is just for yeah. my, so I could sleep tonight. This doesn't count. I just had to hit it harder, Frank. But that's what I'm saying. It's so hard to judge this grass. Even that checked out. Even that stunk. <laughs> See, I knew you were going to do that. That's why I did That's that. why you did all that? Yep. Yes. Well, you know, I want this one. Because we're at even par. Going one under would be great. <sighs> Went too far outside. Too far outside, man. That's it. That's the one. Good birdie. Thank you. All right, one under. I wanted that because that gives us a little bit of breathing room towards our goal of shooting par or better. Uh, so one under through five. That thermo is a little too warm. Let huh? me tell you something. This little thin thing keeps you warm. I'm not just saying that. I'm sweating. And so it's Vermont in October. That was going short sleeves and beanie. That's it's a look. All right, par four here. Going back up that hill that we just came down. 323, but it's up the hill. It's going to play longer. Green is a little bit elevated, and they've got some uh, bunkering protecting it in the front. But I think we're going to both go driver here, try to give ourselves a wedge in. Yeah, he's definitely got the driver. Yep. It's, I mean, it's a look. Like I said, short sleeves. Not too bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> it does keep the heat in this hat. <laughs> Rape <laughs> might strip. <laughs> Zero to 10 in the comments. What do you think, guys? Full dad mode right now. All right. Just mildly untucked in the back even. Is it mild? Yeah, just a mild untuck, just to really complete it. There we go. The shirt's pretty fire though. Yeah, it's a nice shirt. Oh, wow. Short sleeves power, huh? That was an Tattooed absolute nuke. It. Holy cow. Tattooed it. Center face, baby. Okay, down the left side. Gonna get a nice kick right. Okay. Oh, you're safe up there. But we got a good one out there. I'll tell you, normally I'd be happy with this ball. I told you, I, I bet. That I hit right here, but you almost drove the green. How Look long at is it this over there. hole? It was 320, I think. Yeah. 
That's probably be a 300 yard poke. It's gotta be 300. I knew, I felt it. I got it's everything. The it's the outfit. It's the outfit. It's the outfit. Yeah. Now you gotta keep wearing that <laughs> until you hit a bad Everywhere. One. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. You're gonna putt it? You gotta go driver putter. No. Driver putter. I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna go wedge here. Okay. Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All you that are cringing on the couch at home from the last one, this is for you. Confidence. I'm gonna have some confidence here. See, why putt when you can hit shots like that? Long putt, you gotta get it back there further. But we're up there. Think you're gonna be up there. Actually, took it, it went all the way to the back of the green, trying to run it. Okay. He's a little pitching wedge, bump. Oh! oh. So close. So close. Better. Okay. All right, go knock that in. Par and out of here. Would have loved a birdie when we were just, a, you know, 20 yards off the green, but it been ours nice. we're happy with. You know, we kid about your outfit, but we have played golf. Do you know this? We played golf in, I think it's seven states this year. We have. We've had all climates. Wisconsin, sunny, Southern California, Florida. We had Tampa in February. It was Tampa. beautiful, right? Yeah. So one thing I say, thanks Foot Joy hooking us up every every single time. You know what we talk about, like what's in the travel bag. We talk about on the podcast, right? It's just great. Like, you have the different layers. You can end up like this, warmer than expected, cooler than expected. Yeah. And so if you don't Joy, have the short sleeves, I'd be hurting today. I'd be sweating. I'm glad I packed right. Foot Joy takes care of us. All right, first par five here too, and this is actually halfway across that goes over the road. So this is we're going to be starting to make our way towards the holes that are on the other side of the road here. Uh, believe it or not, the first par five on the front nine plays a little over 500 yards, just a little bit up the hill. Lots of bunkering when you get close to the green. So uh, I doubt it's a two shot hole, but we're gonna try to poke some out there. That certainly helps. I'm getting through firing hips. It's warming up. That's a gorgeous shot. Sun's out, hips out. <laughs> Contact just leaking left. Probably gonna hit the left fairway up there. Yep, yeah, it's a little left. What'd you fire it at? 229 playing 239. We were 10 yards behind, so we're gonna play it at 230. Uh, we had a three wood up the hill and just hope I don't hit any of those beautiful houses back there. <laughs> there is a road behind this too, right? That I gotta contend with. We do cross a road somewhere. But it would have to, this is why this hill is here, I'm sure. To stop to that. prevent yeah. like sculling it into windows. So, all right. Oh no, that's why. No cars were harmed. No cars were harmed, I topped it. I'm at the 150 marker, so it was a okay miss. It's a terrible shot, but. Great layup. Thanks. Yeah. I knew she'd come out really high on yeah. that hill. Frankie Three Woods. That's it, right there, it's where I wanted you. You might've okay. jumped into a bunker, but. We're up there. All right, 73 yards. Got to fly this bunker. Get it up there. Looks good, sound good. <laughs> Looks good too, Frank. Is it a little long though? Yeah. I think you're a little long, but- A little bit I fly. Got, I heard a thud up there on, on mine, so. All right, that thud was a good thud because we're about three feet from the hole for birdie. Frank flew his a little bit over the green. So obviously we're gonna use mine here and another good birdie opportunity on this par five. One of two, by the way. Two par fives, par 71 here at Equinox. So we gotta capitalize. See what happens when you don't overthink it? That's it, birdie, 200. Birdie. By the way, look at this backdrop, huh? Something else, Vermont. We have to come back every year. I think so. I <laughs> think. Twist my arm. Yeah, right. You know? <laughs> Eighth hole, comfortably two under here, and this is a pretty tee box. I'm just gonna stand back here and admire it while Mike takes this tee shot on this par four. Ah, no cut. All right, OB for me, man. It's on you, no cut. Partner. Just in the left rough, but great shot. Hey, I never complain when I drive it through the fairway. I'll tell you something though, where that pin is today, 
Left side is the ideal. I deal. Got any of those darts left in you? Might have a couple darts. Fire in there. another dart like you did in the last hole or what? Another we birdie? We could certainly try. Oh, it's so fat and short. Too much mud. Oh, same, dude. You same. You too, huh? This grass. This is that's probably the wettest rough we've encountered yet. Yeah, that is really wet. It's just all the water, I guess, sits right down here. Now but we got our work cut no out. No excuses. For us. Now we gotta. Now we gotta make it up and down. Yes, we do. Okay, not too shabby. Oh, everything runs away. It ran away this way. All right. It ran. So you got to keep it right of the pin. Stop. Stop. It was a good effort. It's so fast down the hill. Oh, that's got to hit the cup or it's gone. That is such a delicate putt. See that? Yeah. All right. And bogey. we give one back. One under, heading into nine. So we're still, you know, on pace for our goal. Yep. All right, a little disappointed to give one back there, but we still one under. We've got one more hole left on this front nine. Uh, check this hole out too, by the way. Great view again, going back to the clubhouse. Mountains in the distance. You can even see the steeple in the town. Really cool little town. By the way, huge thanks to Equinox for letting us come out here, do this, film everything. We always appreciate that. This, is, this has really been a treat. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss in the next video we're going to take on the back nine. But right now, we're one under. Let's keep it that way or better. 333 yard par four up the hill into the clubhouse here. Zach, doing a lot of extra services here, blowing leaves off. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> just as our little give back for uh, having us out here. Nice little <laughs> give back. Oh, sh four! Don't hit him, don't hit him. Woo! Woo! Oops. <laughs> that, oh, that just, guy. I, we all saw his life flash before our eyes. I did. All of us. I, I didn't did. even know the guy, and I, I saw him. I didn't even life. know him. I saw him as a kid. I saw year everything. Old, yeah, his wedding. I was at his wedding. <laughs> I was at his wedding party. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it was a massive fade. Or that man is or in trouble. Or that man's life. Yeah, it was one or the other, but it was the first. It was the fade. Jeez. Sometimes it doesn't cut. I'm on the fairway of one. Not the end of the world, but. Uh, you know one of our mottos. Fairway's a fairway. Fairway to fairway. Got a boy right there. Always seems to pick me up when I hit one bad. Let's go. Baby. That's the fairway we want. <laughs> That's the fairway we want. All right, we checked on that guy. He and his whole family are okay. Everyone's all good. They're all fine. Yep. What do we got here? 72 playing 80. He Too didn't much? quite hit the spot, but he'll be up there maybe. He got a little Yankee. That's all. Look at that divot. divot That's a divot. Made it to the green. That's a divot, man. That wow. That is a divot. That is a London broil. It's like you're digging graves for small animals. Look, it's almost the size of my ankle. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I'm telling you. It uh, smells incredible, by the way. This is one of the best smelling divots. The only guy I know keeps smelling grass. You know? It's, it's Vermont. And the dirt side, too. The dirt side. You got to smell the dirt <laughs> side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Birdie putt here on nine. Wait a minute. Where's he lining up? Uh, Mike, you good? <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> well, tap and bar. Not bad, right? <laughs> turn in there. I put it where I want it. Turn. We all ended up in the same spot. Same spot. Yep. All right, guys, that's a wrap for the front nine. We are currently one under making the turn. Great position for this back nine. Lots of beautiful holes coming up. Like I said earlier, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications. We'll see you in the next video on the back nine here at Equinox. See you there.